When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long. Develop the mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life. Fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Folks, I want to talk about yesterday being Advent. Because Advent has finally arrived. I can't, a time to refocus on the fulfilled promise of Christmas. Friends, picture the uh, quintessential Christmas dinner. Just picture this in your mind. Three generations of family sit together around the table loaded with holiday favorites. The perfect fire crackles like in the background in the fireplace while everyone laughs with one another and snow falls softly outside. Am I the only one who thinks Hallmark has it wrong? Historically, the Christmas season is called Advent, a word that means the arrival of a notable person, thing, or event. During this month, Christians all around the world will refocus on the fulfilled promise of Christmas, the coming of Jesus. Advent began yesterday, Sunday, and ends on the 24th, the day before Christmas. This is a time of reflection and celebration meant to to be cherished with friends and family. Yet, this hallowed season can often feel hollow in the face of our messy reality. The perfect family sitting around a table? Really? They are nowhere to be found. Someone's kid is crying, the turkey is burned, the snow is outside, has turned into freezing rain. Old fights resurface and someone inevitably brings up religion, sports, or politics. Nothing brings us together like the holidays and nothing draws us further apart. And into this season of peace and chaos, the message of Advent is exactly what we need. Jesus was born into a world not unlike ours. One filled with political division, ethnic tension, and social inequality. The rich held the power. Uh, uh, the rich held power. The poor were marginalized, and the religious elite shunned the sinners, anyone they viewed as less worthy than themselves. It is easy to see how the life of Jesus would have caused a stir. 
Jesus seemed to have a radar for outcast and forgotten. He ignored culture, taboos, and uh, social expectations uh, in the way he loved others, choosing instead to embrace the sick, help the weary, and eat with the sinners. All while declaring, this was, uh, this is what the kingdom of God looks like. Jesus didn't uh, fix the political division. He didn't solve problems of ethnic tension or social inequality. Instead, he did something far more powerful and subversive. He undermined all these systems by demonstrating self-sacrificial love. The classic hymn, O Holy Night, says it well. Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is to love and uh, his gospel is peace. Chains shall be broke. Uh, be- he break for the slave and our brother and in his name all oppression shall cease the name of Jesus breaks the power of selfishness and uh, oppression because it's only in Jesus that we see how far love is willing to go to set us free from ourselves while the love of Jesus might not keep people from arguing around your dinner table this holiday season it can do something far more powerful It can release the chains around your own heart and set uh, you free to demonstrate the same sacrificial, freeing love to others. But the love of Jesus uh, does more than give us hope for dinner uh, dinner time conversations. This uh, subversive love has power to transform society from the inside out. The love of Jesus helps us to see the unity does not equal Uh, uniformity. The Founding Fathers echoed this theme when they talked about the importance of unity. Consider what James Madison wrote in the Federalist number 14. Hearken uh, hearken not to the unnatural voice which tells you that the people of America knit together as they are uh, by so many cords of affection can no longer live together as members of the same family. No, my countrymen, shut your ears against this unhallowed language. Shut your hearts against the poison which it conveys. Mad- Madison centuries old warning calls America today to renewed commitment to live in unity as members of the same American family. But how do we live in unity with people who are so different than us in the presence of broken systems led by broken people just like us? Well, We do it by receiving the selfless love of Jesus and letting our lives uh, 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 reverberate this love through our words and our actions. That's how. Reach out to God today. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can change that stranger's day and their life. And it can help you as well in your life. May God bless each and every one of you. We'll talk to you folks real soon. Take good care. And remember, God loves you. And enjoy your Advent. And we'll see you tomorrow. And have a great day. Take good care. Bye-bye now.